What's up guys, it's Cameron here. Today, I finally got my goddamn PC. Um, so probably about 21 days ago, if I'm to guess right, uh, about 21 days ago, I ordered a new PC from iBuyPower. Um, I decided not to do my own PC build this time, uh, mainly for the fact being of warranty and shipments and time, really. I mean, we're in fourth quarter now, so a lot of things are uh, taking a lot more time and a lot more money. Um, so anyway, so convenience factor. Um, so I went on to iBuyPower uh, online uh, over Black Friday sales. I ended up uh, deciding to go with the PC. Um, I spent a little bit more than I really wanted to, but I think that this one's actually going to be something that's going to last me quite a long time. Um, I opted out of going with the GTX 1080. Uh, decided to go with the 1070 instead. Um, but I didn't skip out with the processor and RAM speeds. Um, ended up with uh, the i7-6700. Um, that is the 4 gigahertz clocked at base. Um, also went with DDR4 RAM uh, at 3000 megahertz clock speeds. So um, anyways, it showed up. There it is. It's finally fucking here. Um, God, I've been waiting so long. Uh, so this is gonna be my unboxing video. Um, we'll get into it. Here we go. Okay, so um, Apologies about this uh, Shitty video. Uh, all I really had is my cell phone to uh, record this on, but uh, let's get into it So again, um, i7 processor uh, went with the 700 series um, oh Man, this is gonna be awesome Never really done anything like this before, so uh, this is all going to be kind of new to me. So let's take this bad boy off, and oh my god, there it is. Okay, uh, so inside we got the ship to information, and we got the quick setup guide here. Um, let's see what else they package in. So, oh, okay. Um, so as part of Black Friday sales, I ended up getting a few free things with this order. Uh, this is a company I've never heard of before, but GameDS Hepsis 2, um, some kind of, obviously, a, uh, a wired headset. Um, I already have one, really, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with this quite yet, but I'm sure I can find a use for it somewhere. So anyway, so this is one of the free gifts that they uh, shipped out with the order of the PC, so that was really nice of them. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Oh yes, the iBuyPower Mech Mechanical Keyboard. Uh, again, I already have a decent keyboard at this time. Um, I really like my uh, my current one that I have. It works really well for me. Uh, I will give this one a shot. I uh, will see uh, exactly what the difference is. Um, I do like mechanical keyboards, uh, literally for the fact of my typing speed being roughly about 80, 80 to 90 words per minute or so. It just sounds really cool. Um, not to be cocky or anything, but that's how it is. Anyways, <laughs> um, so yes, i uh, got a mechanical keyboard for free. Uh, looks like that's it there. Let's get into the bread and butter of it, eh? Um, so here we go. Okay, so here it is. Um, the actual PC. Uh, packaging looks fantastic. Uh, not a single dent in this thing. Uh, they did end up shipping it with uh, obviously foam pads and things like that. It's kind of a high dollar value uh, item, so let's see what's inside. Okay, so right off the bat, let's see, what the fuck is this? Oh, uh, my new uh, gaming mouse pad. Um, another free gift uh, that I was able to receive. Um, very nice. Quality I buy power uh, mouse pad here. Um, so like you got the standard I buy power logo. It's quite a big size. That'll work for me. I will definitely use that. Uh, what else do they ship me? It looks like I got a new mouse as well. Um, let's see what kind of mouse are we talking about here? So it's a 3200 DPI, um, hyper fast scrolling wheel, ambidextrous design. Highly sensitive optical mouse, so it looks like they did ship me a nice optical mouse. Uh, again, I have one that I really like as is, uh, but I am willing to give this one a shot and see if it changes my mind. Another free gift. Okay. Looks like 
we got some warranty information here, some product guides, uh, installation DVDs, a hey, copy of Windows, exactly what the fuck I was looking for. <laughs> Uh, so this is great, awesome. Okay, so now I got a copy of Windows 10 64 uh, bit, that is really cool. Uh, Pro Series, this is the motherboard, um, looks like the motherboard guide. Uh, Z170A Plus is the motherboard choice that I went with. Uh, this is gonna allow me to upgrade in the future. Um, I believe it's an LG, uh, LGA 1150 slot, if I'm not mistaken. We'll get to that later, but um, <clears throat> anyways, that's nice. Uh, we have a quick installation guide here. Looks like it's saying, thank you for choosing an MSI product. So this is how you register and drivers and utilities. So what else we got in here? Okay, so they sent me some uh, data cables. Looks like a SLI bridge uh, in case I ever decide to upgrade in the future, which I will. Nice. And power supply. There's my power cord. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to shoot out of frame here for a second. Let me see if I can get this thing opened. Oh, man. Look at you. Get some of this packaging out of the way. Everything labeled. I buy power, of course. But, uh, let me see how I can remove this without damaging anything. Oh boy, this boy's heavy. Get out of here. Get. Get. Okay. Which way is up? Okay. Lock in my way box. So here we are. And you all get to see me remove the film. Isn't this the best part about being a tech person? Free, like, brand new stuff is just so awesome. Okay. So, on the front panel, uh, looks like we do have the iBuy Power logo. I got two fans running up top. Uh, back side here, looks like we got the full, uh, I do have USB 3.1, uh, Gen 2. There's a Type C plug in there. Uh, Gigabit Ethernet, DVI, uh, regular RGB, um, all my sound options, uh, your microphone port, the GTX 1070 uh, that has DVI and multiple uh, HDMI ports, which is awesome. That gives me triple monitor display if I'd like. Uh, mouse and keyboard plugins. Looks like I have one, two, three, four, like four on the front, two on the top. Side. So I got a total of six USB ports, uh, which could work. Might need to get a splitter and uh, have a little bit more, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh, let's see the guts of this, eh? Okay, so again, I'm uh, going to get a little bit closer in here. I'm sorry, it's brand new glass. It's kind of hard to see. But uh, there's your two 120 millimeter fans on the front. Uh, we'll come around to the side here. I still have to remove all the packaging and open up the case, but just get a closer look at this back panel here. Again, you got your uh, standard keyboard and mouse um, plugins, you got your DVI, RGB, uh, the different um, types of um, USB ports, uh, all, all your audio options. Again, there's that 1070 card sitting in there, um, power supply down on the bottom. Uh, and of course the 120 millimeter fan on the back as well. Uh, the one reason why I went with this case is one the lighting uh, situation with it. Um, this is pre-installed with um, multicolor lighting uh, that I can use with software um, to in order to change the interior of it. So I went with this glass panel on the side that style so it can kind of show off the colors and things like that plus I can see what's going on on the inside of my computer um, so that was very nice um, so anyways let's uh, get to it let's start opening it up okay so we're gonna start opening up the case now I'm just gonna remove a few of these screws and remove this side panel Not lose any of those on the first day we have it huh? 
that screws a little tight. Um, again, uh, complete tempered glass uh, on the side. Don't have to worry about it. It's shatterproof. Um, it is a little bit heavy. Uh, this does add a little bit of weight to the build, but again, it's not a problem if it's just going to be sitting in one spot anyways, so no big deal. Um, so let's set that there, and let's see the guts of this beauty. Oh man, comparatively to my, my build that I have right now, um, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. We'll, uh, we'll go over my uh, current build um, in another video, but um, for right now, let's check out the interior of this. Okay, so here is the inside of the computer. I do have the uh, Corsair uh, hydro system in here um, that has uh, uh, water cooling and all that. Uh, if you can see these gold panels in here, that is my DDR4 RAM, uh, the 3000 clock speed on that. Um, I do have a 1000 watt power supply, which is probably going to be underneath, um, down in here, uh, sands that the, um, the plug-in for it is down there. So, fortunately, I won't be able to show you that, but that's okay. Um, I do have an SSD installed right here. Um, my two terabyte hard drive is going to be over underneath these panels, and this beautiful, gorgeous... 1070 card. Uh, this is probably going to be the biggest upgrade I've ever done. Um, my old build, I was running a GTX 680, um, and for the most part, it was handling most games decently. Uh, but it's 2016 now. That build was back from 2012, so it's about time to upgrade. Um, so anyway, so this card is going to do me fantastic. Uh, it also allows me to um, run a second one down there. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. Uh, but I do have another slot down there to where I could potentially in the future run these cards SLI, um, giving me the performance boost that I want without spending the $600 price tag of a GTX 1080. So um, that's pretty much the build. Um, basically what we're going to move on to next is uh, first power on. I'm going to get everything hooked up on it and uh, we'll see how it runs. Uh, it's actually going to be my first experience with Windows 10. Uh, I've been a Windows 7 head forever now um, and prior to that was Windows XP. Uh, so bear with me a little bit. But um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll check that out. All right, so here we are, all set up. I uh, got everything plugged in. Um, unfortunately, right now, I am still waiting on getting a proper desk for this room. Uh, as you can see, it's not quite done being painted, but I got half the room done, so um, it'll happen soon enough. I'm hoping by this weekend, uh, get the paint done, and then get my new desk in here, uh, along with getting rid of all this, well, not really crap, just stuff, you know. Anyhow, uh, so, computer's all plugged in, monitor is on, let's hit the switch, right down here, power on, and, guys, I'm so excited, I'm so fucking excited, I, I, you, you probably tell with the rest of my video, but, uh, here's first power on, and nothing. And nothing. Well then. On, please. No? Hmm. Guess I better read the quick step guide. Hold on one sec, I'll be right back with you guys. Well, apologies about that. Uh, because I'm a fucking knob, I uh, am retarded and actually turned it off. So now we're going to turn it on. And we're gonna try this again. Okay, okay, guys. Now, really, really, I'm I'm really excited this time. You ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that! The nice fans running up front. The beautiful logo. See, and this is what I was talking about. Um, so this is the uh, the interior. Um, so I do have case lighting in there. Uh, I can change that at a whim. Uh, different colors. I can set it to strobe or you know, change different color schemes and whatnot. So, anyways, we'll get to that in a little bit. <clears throat> so, here we go. Early diagnostics and setting up computers. Oh, the joy. The joy. Da, 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 da. Gonna take some time. Gonna take some time. 
But God, those fans, man. Those fans are nice. It's definitely a, um, I don't know if you can, you can probably see the, uh, the top piece right here. It allows a lot of airflow to just blow right on out of there. Um, also kicking it right out of the front. You know, these are intake uh, and exhaust out the back. Um, so yeah, uh, apparently th this, this particular tower has a lot of really good reviews about um, uh, airflow uh, within it. Um, a lot of people have said that they have had literally no problems with it, um, able to overclock and, um, you know, their GPUs or CPUs with minor, you know, if any issues at all. So um, that'll be nice. And we're still setting up. Looks like we're running a 480 screen. So, anyways, um, and here's the uh, the new keyboard. Uh, decided just to plug that in. Uh, that mouse. Um, don't know if I'm gonna use it. Um, I really, I mean, I know a lot of professional gamers. You know, they use wired mouses and things like that. Um, fortunately for me, I am not a professional gamer. Uh, <laughs> I enjoy my video games, but um, I, I I think this might work for me. This might be my travel mouse. Honestly, um, might just take it with me. Uh, I'll do a side-by-side -side picture as well so you can see the size difference of my monstrosity of an Alienware I have versus this one. Uh, this one's a bit more compact, um, hell of a lot more clean looking, um, but again it's brand new and the other one's from quite a few years ago. Um, but I did go with the, I'd consider this a mid-sized tower. Um, I did not want to go with the larger one again just because of traveling with it is just a real big pain. Um, my Alienware weighs probably close to a good like 30 or 40 pounds. Um, not fun to carry around, not fun to bring over to people's houses and do editing or whatever we're going to be doing for the day. This is much more uh, nice for me. Um, I'll be able to carry it more conveniently. Um, more often than not, it's going to be in this room. It's going to be my production PC. Uh, you guys will be seeing quite a bit more content out of me now that I have this. Uh, my current Alienware just was not doing it. Um, couldn't handle the video uh, editing and processing and rendering and all that. It just took forever. Uh, we did attempt to... Um, Try to do some 1080p capture footage over my my Alienware, and a lot of bad frame stuttering. Uh, did not capture the video the way that we wanted to, so we wasted a good two hours of video just trying it that way. Um, so these are just basic reasons why um, I ended up going with a new PC build um, instead of trying to upgrade my current one. The motherboard that I have on my Alienware is just too... Too old, I guess. <laughs> um, not a lot of the new processors will fit in those slots. Um, I have no real room for expansion um, with the current motherboard setup that I have on my Alienware. Uh, so again, so I went with this um, this current motherboard here, this MSI. Uh, it's going to allow me to expand quite far. Um, so basically, bought it for longevity. Um, you guys will be seeing much better produced videos than this one, I'm sure. Um, once I get this one all hooked up and I get uh, all my Premiere Pro and everything hooked up on it, uh, I'm going to be working with a lot of really good dudes, uh, shooting a lot of content, a lot of video, a lot of uh, gameplays, live action. You know, you guys will be seeing this all. And basically, Greg, essentially, uh, you have inspired me to actually go out and do the PC thing. Um, decided that it was about time, uh, especially now that we got Media Frag on the way. Um, so yeah uh, that's basically the whole reasoning behind this purchase um i really cannot wait to start bringing you guys content um it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, and like i said i got a lot of really good reviewers and content creators that are on board with me so you guys will be seeing that soon enough so <clears throat> here we go so it looks like we're finally kind of hooked up um this seems like it's gonna be a lot of probably personal information so i will um probably shut the video off while I'm doing all this, but uh, once we get to the UI screen, I will turn it back on. We'll go over just basic, I'll show you the system information and all that, and uh, we'll be right back with you. Okay, so as you can see, uh, here's the PC specs. Uh, I am running an Intel Core i7-6700K. That's the CPU at 4 gigahertz um, per core. I have 16 gigabytes of DDDR4 uh, RAM at 30, th sorry, 3,000 megahertz. Um, 
the um, GPU that's in there, again, uh, the GTX 1070, um, that is an 8 gigabyte card, uh, fucking gorgeous, I love it. I do have the Kingston, that's 120 uh, gigabyte SSD, and then right in that little slots down there, that is my 2 terabyte uh, Seagate. Uh, HDD. So, anyways, that's um, pretty much the hardware specs of it. Again, I got the uh, 120 millimeter cooling fans uh, that do run uh, water cooling on top of the processor and everything in there. Uh, there's that um, RAM in there. Uh, this particular motherboard does support, um, like we talked about earlier, the SLI. Uh, so I can later on if I decide to, which I probably will at some point in the near well, maybe not in your future, but maybe in the next couple of years. Uh, probably will go with another uh, 1070 card and run that SLI. Uh, I can upgrade these uh, RAMs to uh, 32 gigabyte if I wanted to. Um, they do have the DDDR. Uh, oh man, I've been saying that the whole wrong this whole time. DDR4 Boost, um, which uh, helps with my processing and um, uh, memory allocation and all that. So. So that all works. Um, PSU is underneath um, where the SSD is, um, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, cable management with this was great. I paid $20 extra to have a little bit better cable management. So as you can see, everything is super tight-knit. Uh, don't got to deal with any frayed or hanging out cables or anything like that. Um, so far, I can't even hear this PC, and when you hear my Alienware startup, it sounds like a goddamn AC-130 taking off on a uh, military base. So, <laughs> this is great. Um, don't really have any complaints so far. Um, not going to be able to do much with this tonight, but I will be taking this down to my office tomorrow to start downloading um, all of my programs, my games that I want to play and all that. Unfortunately, I am running a shit DSL um, 6 megabyte connection here, which is decent enough, but as for downloading and getting apps and, you know, the whole works, it just takes way too damn long. So, um, we're going to close this video out. Um, we will do a video of my other PC uh, probably when I get this room done and uh, have everything set up on my uh, my new desk that's that I'll be um, either building myself or will be... Um, buying um probably i've looked at a couple from ikea i've looked at a couple on amazon i've come up with some ideas about how i could build a desk um that is custom that'll work for me um so yeah um anyway so we're gonna close this video out uh, i'll do one more quick shot of me and uh we will get on with this and then also while we're at it uh as i'm shooting this video thank you to everybody that gave me their opinion um to help me build this computer um, I know I didn't personally build it myself, but I did pick out all the parts. I upgraded quite a few things. Um, the holiday sale of, of iBuyPower was awesome. Uh, I also got a discount code as well um, that took off another, f I think it was 5%. Um, so anyway, so awesome build. Um, really, I'm pretty happy with iBuyPower. Um, it took them a while to get the parts in, to bundle the parts together, to actually do the build. Uh, do their burn-in, as they call it. Um, that's setting up all the software, making sure everything runs correctly. Uh, they do extensive stress tests on these um, to make sure that everything's running optimally before they even package it. Uh, once packaging happened, it was literally two days and it was here. Um, overall, uh, I kind of wish I would have got a little bit faster, but the nice thing was is that I was receiving emails um, consistently. Uh, they were constantly updating me on this PC. Um, however, there was that week and a half period where I didn't hear anything and I was almost about to start um, contacting them to see what was going on. Uh, but at that time, um, I was literally about to write the email and then boom, one comes in and says, oh, you're ready. Um, you know, the PC has been put together. It's going to go into the burn-in phase. They're going to start doing all their testing. Um, and then immediately after burn-in went, again, um, shipment just happened and they overnighted it to me. Uh, technically, right now it's December 14th. I uh, should have received it December 13th, but on track, the system, um, or sorry, the, uh, the delivery service um, couldn't drop this machine off at my house without me being here, or at least without my signature. Uh, so I ended up calling on track, um, and what they told me to do is to take the note that they left on my door, sign that, and then they'll just leave it out front of my house the next uh, day, being today. So, um, 
anyway, so again, thank you to everybody that uh, helped me with this build, gave me advice, gave me some opinions about um, different types of motherboards and RAMs and CPUs and GPUs and all that. Um, really thankful, really thankful. So again, um, that was the PC. Uh, extremely excited to have this thing again. Uh, we are going to be doing quite a bit of production here pretty soon. Um, I have multiple guys that are going to be working with me. We're going to be doing Let's Plays. We're going to be doing um, podcasts for <sighs> News of the Week. Um, we have many ideas for live action shoots, things like that. Um, this new rig is going to help me achieve that, uh, be able to produce videos for you guys basically uh get this media frag site off the ground um again thank you to everybody that helped me um determine exactly what what pc components i needed to get uh what's good what's bad what's um good and bad at the same time um th there's there's so many options when it comes to building a pc um and I kind of missed out on the opportunity of doing it myself, um, but again, with warranties, with, um, you know, um, you know, peace of mind knowing that this company really went through and made sure that everything's going to be working and that I don't have any problems upon shipment, uh, I can literally just plug this thing in and start going. Um, that was all very nice. Uh, next thing's on my list that I plan on doing. Um, I'm going to need uh, probably new studio monitors. Um, going to need some, some kind of audio um, setup for that. Uh, I do have a 25 key MIDI keyboard, so I will be getting into um, sound engineering uh, pretty soon. Um, I do need to get a nicer camera because right now I'm stuck with this um, pretty much my cell phone. Um, not exactly the best of quality or anything. It does shoot 1080p, but. Um, I think I need something a little bit better. Uh, I do have opportunities to get um, some microphones. Um, I really do plan on finally getting a, uh, a whole setup for a green screen um, so I can do my newscasting and things like that. Uh, one of these days, internet's got to hit me hard here um, because the 6 megabyte connection, this DSL line that I have, just really isn't going to work for uploading and things like that. So um, I will be pretty much exporting to an external and then taking it to a friend's house or my work where I do have a fast connection to upload. Um, so hoping that technology kind of speeds up here around my area a little bit quicker. Um, I would like to have something more in the range of 25 megabytes, something like that. Uh, because I want to start streaming. I want to get into that really bad. Um, I think it'd be great for the site. Um, give, give me a lot more opportunity to interact with um, you know the people that watch my videos or are part of my group or people that are going to be part of this new website that's up and coming. Um, so anyways, so again, thanks everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I know that this video quality may not have been so great. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, but either way, you know, thanks for watching. I, I really appreciate it. Um, be on the lookout for more Media Frag updates uh, soon. Um, all of us uh, that are part of that are working on working on stuff, you know, as as well as we can be. Um, again, this this particular computer is going to help me personally quite a bit. Um, so be expecting to see more content out of me. Uh, and my fellow people that are helping with this website. Uh, thank you to Greg um, for kind of inspiring me to actually go through with something like this. Um, I was really planning on doing a PC build probably sometime next year, but uh, I think now's the time. Um, the site launch is on its way. We're, we're going to be starting up real soon. Um, so keep your eyes out. We'll be keeping you guys posted. Um, and anyways, have yourself a good day, guys. Talk to you later. Wicked and where things are going, manifest. <laughs>